Alright, hey there guys. Uh, this is Hates Wanderings. Welcome back, fellow wanderers. Um, in this video today, I'm taking you on a pretty cool trip. This is a scouting mission. Um, we've been doing some scouting series so far this year. We took a kayak scouting trip in May, maybe? March? April? Could have been March. April, perhaps. Uh, didn't catch any fish. Saw some fish. It was a fun time. Then we did another couple of scouting trips later in the year. Uh, one of them we hooked into a steelhead on a beautiful river. And then I believe we did even another scouting trip after that. And we caught some brook trout. Um, this scouting trip is now going to be officially a summer scouting trip. So it's warm water and it is a very, very small piece of water. As I'm showing you guys right now in this video, um, tight, narrow, rocky, shallow, tan and stained water, pretty much that's the kind of water we have. Um, this water ended up being too skinny for my raft and uh, it was a little bit of a chore getting through, but it was fun. We caught fish and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be kind of speaking in the background and showing video clips and leave some comments or questions if you guys have any of those. All right, let's get rolling. Good morning, fellow wanderers. We were out this morning with my family. We got Liam right here, we got Pops, we got my bro back there. You guys remember them from last year. They came up and cranked some fish. Um, we we're on a new stretch of water today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm out of the raft and I am dragging us through this right here. Um, we've already had three bites this morning. We've been on the water for about, I don't know, 10 minutes and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish today. We're gonna have fun, and we're gonna get put the drone up, and uh, I'm gonna drag this through a lot of rocks, and, uh, and it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna catch some smallmouth, some walleye, some pike today, and uh, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Liam, do you wanna say anything? No. You don't wanna say anything? Tell me your mantra. What's your mantra, my man? <laughs> With fish. Say it loudly. Foam is home, boulders are holders, wood is good. That's right, so foam is home, boulders are holders, and wood is good. My man knows where we're gonna catch the fish today. All right, let's get rolling. We're gonna go smash some fish right here. All right, so as you can see in this clip, we have four people in the raft. Uh, the raft is really only meant for three people. However, uh, my nephew is seven, and he was able to kind of sit up uh, in front. I actually added on a front platform to the raft uh, thanks to Crystal Steelhouse. They welded on a really cool custom piece and uh, so my nephew was able to sit up there. I usually have a cooler up there though. So that being said, four people going down a very skinny set of water. We started the day at a location that I've driven past many times and I've always wanted to fish it. I've always wanted to raft through it. And looking at Google Maps, I said, eh, I think I can do it. Um, and, the, and the truth is we were able to do it, but it took a lot of manpower pulling over rocks, pulling around rapids, pulling around trees, cutting trees with my saw. It got pretty intense uh, a couple hours into the day. Uh, my dad, he turned and looked at me and he said, there's no way you can take a client down this. And I was like, yeah, I had already decided that about an hour ago. Um, but I was scouting new water and sometimes new water turns out really great. And sometimes new water turns out um, just, just bad. <laughs> that's kind of, you know, it can be great, it can be bad, and you never really know. But it's an adventure and that's, uh, that's the good part, right? So heading into the day, we 
we ended up actually catching our very first fish was a muskie. I was not expecting muskie in this system, but the very first fish was a muskie. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Let me get the net. Oh. Dude, it's a muskie. Um, oh. It's a muskie. Are you kidding me? Baby it's that. a muskie. What the heck? Happens. Guys, that's a petite muskie. Look at that. Tiny. Sorry, sweetie, that you got hooked. Oof, that was a terrible release. I was fishing a tandem rig with a spinner in front attached to a paddle tail and back. And the reason I was fishing that tandem rig is that I wanted to fish both a spinner and a paddle tail. And um, I didn't want to cast two different rods because I was in the middle rowing. And so since I was rowing, I only had a couple of options to cast. So I wanted to capitalize on every time I could cast. So I cast out that tandem rig and a musky bit. I thought it was a pike. I was bringing it in got it close and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a muskie. Now it was only like, I don't know, 20 inches, maybe it was really small. Unfortunately, the hook, uh, possibly like nicked one of its gills. So it was bleeding. Um, so I didn't get like a bunch of pictures with it or anything. Continuing down river, uh, my brother was fishing a paddle tail of some kind. I think it was a Z-Man Minnow Z. That's what he was fishing. And my dad in, ca in the front was casting a top water for my nephew. Um, my nephew wasn't able to cast by himself because, you know, we was a really small raft. So my dad would cast and then my nephew would reel it in. Um, the top water, unfortunately, was not super active that day. They did end up getting a couple of fish, but most of the fish came on the paddle tail from my brother in the back. Going through this small river, we encountered a couple of sets of rapids that were actually the easiest part to get through in the whole day. The rapids were easier than the long boulder runs. Like the rapids really weren't a problem at all. The problem was the mile or two of sustained riffle, boulder, riffle, boulder. That's what really got hard because we couldn't, we were too heavy and the raft was bumping every single rock in the river. So my brother was pulling, I was pulling, my dad and my nephew kind of got to sit in, uh, kind of chauffeured in the, uh, in the raft. You know, we went by some really awesome looking trout areas actually and I, I did take a temp of the water and I believe the water was like 64 degrees so I was thinking to myself man possibly there could actually be trout in there um possibly you know who knows right uh but in that stretch of water we picked up musky walleye pike smallmouth so warm water species but it was it was a titch cold cool cool water At one point, the river got so narrow that we couldn't actually even row. So I couldn't row through. It was so narrow. Be imagining, like, let's say four feet of clearance from left to right. And my raft is, I think, like four feet wide. Maybe it's three feet wide. I don't know. It was so narrow. The tag alders had crept in so far that we couldn't use the oars. We actually had to grab the tag alders and pull the raft through from the front. Now, the ridiculous part is I filmed all day, right? But I didn't get any footage of the super narrow stretch. I don't know what I was thinking not filming. There were spiders dropping onto the raft from the tag alders and it was kind of freaking my nephew out. So I don't know if I like just kind of forgot to film. I don't know what happened there, but it ended up being just a short stretch that we had to pull through like that. Most of the river was probably 20 yards across. Um, so doable in a kayak, 
not so doable in a raft. Alrighty guys, it has been a very long morning. Uh, we are up to four fish, uh, one musky, two smallmouth, one pike. Um, but we were going through water back there that looked like it should hold brook trout. Um, it has been a very long morning pulling over rocks, pulling through tag alders, but I think we are back to the, the river, I believe. Um, we lost a couple hours. I will never do this again, but that's scouting for you. Sometimes you, uh, you don't find gold and something, something. All right, so I was trying to think of the expression and I, I have it. I was just gonna say is that you don't always find a diamond in the rough. Sometimes the rough is just rough. And that's where we're at right now. Um, super pretty though, super pretty. Um, but I won't be doing this again because it's too tough. It's um, a good adventure. It's a good adventure. And uh, I'm having fun on the adventure with my family and we're gonna get back to it and uh, let's go catch some fish. As we progressed down river, we encountered a series, and when I say series, I mean like probably 10 of them, beaver dams. The beavers are active on this stretch of water. Uh, in every 100 yards, probably, there was another beaver dam. Some of them were really, really um, built up, and some were just in that, you know, initial stage. The built up ones actually kind of, we had to shoot through the the water because the water was up that was one of the best things about that day is that it wasn't low water it was actually high water which helped us get through if it had been low water i don't even think we could have done it in i don't know 15 hours it might have taken to get all the way through it would have been crazy as it was i think we did it in like nine and a half ten hours so still a long day but not a crazy long day so the beaver dams were extensive. Um, at one point, my brother is fishing in the back of the raft. I'm trying to get, I think, somebody unsnagged in the front of the raft on a beaver dam. And my brother gets bit right at the boat side behind us. Uh, he pulls up, unfortunately pops out. I tell him, get back in, get back in. It's an aggressive fish. He goes back in. He kind of does like a loop or something. And a pike comes up and just slap. Cuts right through his line. Uh, I think we were fishing 40 pound fluorocarbon. So that's pretty hard for a pike to bite through. And uh, he lost that, that bait, unfortunately. Right here. Put it back in there, dude. Just get it, get it in the water and, and circle it. Yeah, he just lost one right here. Yeah, it was Pike. Do a loop with it, a circle. There you go. <laughs> no, I just bit you off, dude. <laughs> um, keep moving on down river, on down river, and my dad tosses up with the top water. My nephew's reeling, and again, another pike comes up, claps it really hard. I was hoping it was a smallmouth. Unfortunately, it was a pike. Um, but my, my nephew really enjoyed catching that fish, so that's a win. Um, all through this stretch, there was beaver sign everywhere. I was expecting to see a moose half the time we were there. It ended up being beautiful and super scenic and unfortunately not as fishy as I had hoped. But that kind of that's kind of what happens, you know. You got to get out there. You got to try new places. Um, you know, through the power of editing video, it sometimes appears that everywhere I go is just extremely fishy. But the truth is, I am like all of you, I get skunked on trips just the same, and not everything is, you know, a diamond in the rough. Sometimes it's just rough. <laughs> and this is what this trip was, just rough. Um, but it was fun. I really enjoyed being with my pops. I enjoyed being with my brother, and I enjoyed instilling a love for fishing in my nephew. Hey, there you go, pops. There you go, Pops. There you go, Pops. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Jesus. Watching the two of you is like... I try not to fall in and lean and like, 
Got one hand of this. Yeah. 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 You want to give him a kiss? I gave my musky a kiss. All right. Only, Pops kiss. Only one. Don't, don't, don't Pops. Out. How's it going now? Only the musky right. that I caught, I give a kiss. We're just going to kind of zoom through a couple clips here. This drone footage was awesome that day. And I had a lot of fun. Uh, will I be doing it again anytime soon? Probably not. Uh, I could say there's at least half of a probability that I will never go back to that stretch. Maybe in a kayak, we'll see. Um, but it was fun. It was really fun. I love doing new water at least one time. All right, guys. So without further ado, I think that's going to be it for today. We have a lot of trips coming up still in August, and once September hits, I will be back to personal fishing, and I'll be filming my own adventures, um, and uh, we're going to get some more content up on here for you guys. Uh, we have some more scouting coming up this fall, so don't worry if you've really enjoyed this style of video. We'll have some more coming at you. All right, guys, that's it for today. Catch, release, wander. I'll see you in the next one.